Hello, welcome back to Rome Total War. Uh, this one's going to be pretty pretty short because I'm very limited on time right now, but uh, we'll see what we can get done in about half an hour or so. Uh, so we are attacking Byzantium uh, on the eastern frontier, as uh, Thrace is looking pretty weak now. Um, they do have a, a fairly decent force around Thessalonica, which is their capital. Uh, that's going to be pretty difficult to deal with, but um, we do have a decent force ourselves, and we are going to recruit... I think I'm actually going to go for Archer Auxilia here, just because I know for a fact that the early legionary cohort are um, kind of a ripoff compared to the, uh, what's it called, the legionary cohort, which are basically like 100 denarii more expensive, um, but the same upkeep and way better defense, like 5 extra defense. So you pretty much want to avoid recruiting early legionary cohort unless you have to, um, because they're kind of inferior. Uh, but in this town we can recruit legionary cohorts, so that's good, let's go for that. Uh, in Athens we're going to recruit... I'm pretty tempted by a King Karim. With that said, I think we're not doing too badly on the sea at this point. So I may instead go for... I'm almost tempted by Auxilia, but I think I might actually go for Roman Cavalry. I wouldn't mind comparing these actually just to Equites, because I don't think we've compared those two yet. And that could be... Quite interesting. Uh, so these guys have two experience. I don't know if that affects it on this screen or not, but uh, they've got nine attack and 14 defense. If we look at the Roman Cav, they have seven attack and 15 defense. So I think I think they're slightly better. That's my impression. Um, they don't have particularly exceptional morale or anything like that, but I think we can justify recruiting them, especially because we're. As yeah, it does look like the uh, experience is taken into account on this screen. Um, we're kind of limited on cavalry right now, at least in Greece, so I think we need to stock up on that stuff. Uh, and we have got a pretty, de pretty decent navy here, which we're going to, I think, retrain. Actually, we're already doing that, so that's fine. Gives us a little bit more money to splash. Uh, you may recall that I was kind of torn about what to do uh, here in Asturica, or in Iberia even, um, because it's kind of difficult right now to leave Cordoba without uh, causing some kind of rebellion, or at least riots. So we can't really go for Carthago Nova as much as I'd like to. Uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take our faction leader and I'm going to go ahead and declare war on Gaul. And we're just going to try and take Numantia. It could be pretty difficult because this is a pretty huge force. Uh, but if we can take it, that'd be great. And then from that point onwards, we should be able to press to the southeast and go for Carthago Nova. As uh, we do have a reasonably decent force here, which... Hmm, I was going to send it up to the faction leader, but unfortunately it looks like that won't be possible without taking on uh, this guy. 42 years old, not too terrible to be honest. Most likely going to have to fight him with the faction leader, that might go slightly better. Uh, Spanish mercenaries, barbarian mercenaries, I think I might have to just take the plunge on that. And I think we're just going to have to get as big a force as we can and try and drive these rebels off this bridge. Which we can't do until next turn. Uh, the game says it's going to be faster if we go across the bridge. I'm not really seeing how that's the case. Kind of depends on how movement penalty works over roads, I guess, but I'm not really sure how that works. I am just going to go this way, the way the game actually recommends. Because why not? And we're going to recruit both of these, I think, although... Okay, we just did it. I didn't know if ticking it would actually cause them to be bought or not. Uh, I'm not sure if we can really justify that cost when uh, we could really use these 8,000 denarii somewhere else. We're recruiting Praetorian Cohort here. Uh, we're going to retrain these peasants because it's like one denarii each. Uh, some pirates here which are pretty weak, I don't think we need to worry about that. Uh, Thapsus is looking pretty happy for once, which is good. I think maybe we can swap uh, a few peasants. So they can't quite reach, but... It's looking reasonably decent there, and uh, I don't think we need to recruit anything in Thapsus in particular. Uh, we also have this force sailing to the south, I believe, or perhaps we decided to uh, reinforce or retrain our armies before we do that, or our navies at least, um, because unfortunately Demidi is uh, under some serious pressure, and we could lose it, I think. I mean, that's it looks like a really weak force, but just because of the two uh, rebel generals there, not rebel generals, Numidian generals, uh, they could take the town pretty easily, and I'm not sure we can get there in time, it's going to take at least two or three turns, I think. 
Uh, roads, I think we should probably recruit something. Uh, we can't transport anything over right now. Uh, Kydonia's working on a market. After we got the market, we can start recruiting spies. Uh, this place can kind of recruit anything at once. Okay, I, I, I think I'd prefer to actually build buildings, as uh, capital is looking pretty bad. It is the capital, though. Um, I don't think we need to worry too much. So we're going to recruit some auxilia because that's going to be useful when we fight Rome and their various cavalry units. And we're going to retrain this guy even though it's really expensive because presumably that's going to be worth it on some level. Uh, over on Sicily we've got this town busy, this town's busy, this town's busy. So let's actually have a look. Where are we not building and where do we need to be concerned about? So Carthage is throwing games. That place is fine. These places are all building. Lepsis Magna is forever stagnant. Tingi. Uh, neither of these are really going to change anything, so I'm going to skip that. Uh, Cyrene is being besieged. Nepte is pretty bad, but... Honestly, the population is so low that I should just drop them to a low tax rate. It doesn't matter at all. And we don't have to think about that for a while. Uh, Sparta can build, so... I feel like we should probably go for highways. Uh, we're going to retrain these guys just to spice up their weapons a little bit. Or in fact, population is too low to actually recruit units now. I think we've gone maybe a little bit overboard with the extermination and things. Uh, I will recruit an assassin in that case. Um, Athens is building and that's pretty much it. So we do actually have quite a bit of spare denarii to splash around if we want to. Um, I'm pretty sure Cordoba is already building, which no it's not. Okay, I must have missed that somehow. Alright, so in Cordoba we're going to get an arena most definitely because we need to do something about the public order there. Uh, we're going to recruit some... I think we will go for peasants because at some we can kind of just shift the peasants into the town and shift the uh, normal military units out of the town. So let's take these guys and we're going to move them up to here. I don't think the rebels will go out of their way to attack us, but if they do, uh, we should be able to send a few more units to build ourselves up. Uh, so let's send the Roman Cav, or the Equites I should say, as well. and. If they do come to attack us, they have to come to us, and I think we're going to have a pretty decent chance of fending them off. Uh, this ship is going to attack the port of Carthago Nova, which is going to appease the Senate, plus they're going to give us some kind of unit. Not exactly sure what, but it will give us some kind of unit. This town is relatively happy. So I guess we could just leave 2800 in the bank, as long as all of these frontline towns are actually doing something, which looks like they definitely are. Uh, possibly roads, we could do a little bit more. So I think in roads, I, I am going to go ahead and recruit probably just more archers. And Cydonia should be fine as is. And I think we do have a diplomat somewhere in this area, unless he died. He might have died. I have a, a vague recollection that he might have died of old age. I'm pretty sure he was in this area, so he's maybe dead. Uh, it's been a it's been a while since I played the last part. I think in that case we are good to go. So Julii on the move, nothing's gonna stop them now. Uh Gaul are bribing us, so frankly they deserve to be killed by us. Uh Spain spying on us, as usual, Cordoba's gonna drop to the blue face. We've seen this many times. Uh, Thrace, I think, is planning to attack us. Oh, wow, okay. So they have come to attempt to defend Byzantium. Uh, I don't know where this guy's come from, but uh, he's pretty beefy. He's pretty strong. Uh, he's got three command stars. We don't even have a general here. This could go pretty badly. He does have to come to us, but this is not really a usable terrain. Um, we can withdraw from battle. I don't think it's so bad that we have to do that. Uh, let's just check the ranged unit situation. So they have Peltasts and Onagers. And in the other army they have... I think they had Skirmishes and Militia Cav. So we have pretty similar army compositions. I'm not really sure how to use that to our advantage. I guess we'll just have to do our best knowing that they're going to come to us rather than the other way around. Uh, could pull back to the, the back of the map. 
is to see what they do and to force them to come to us and waste a little bit of energy. I'm never convinced that really swings a battle. Um, in some cases it can make things worse because you're pressed right up against the red line and that makes it uh, a little bit harder to maneuver. But we will soon find out exactly what they're going to do. I think they're going to both come from roughly the same direction. Uh, they're going to be coming from uphill. That's kind of not what we wanted to see. Uh, we can see our ships in the background there. Not that it's going to affect anything. Uh, we've got some trees here that we can use. I, th I think even this counts as we're going to be facing uh, a penalty for being downhill. So it's it's kind of looking pretty bad all around. I'm not really sure what to make of this. So I, I'd ideally like to sneak around the back of them and catch them with our cavalry or something, but um, that will involve going uphill and I don't think it's going to work out too well. Uh, a potential risk are going to be the onagers. They can pretty much just hammer us from distance. I think we're going to have to just drop our units into this area. So none of them are hidden. In fact, one of them is hidden. These guys are hidden too. Not going to be able to hide all of them in this, this tiny patch of bushes, but um, this is at least relatively flat ground, whereas I think over there it's less so. It's kind of hard to tell. So yeah, I think there's um, a slight incline going against us here, but I think this is slightly flatter ground, so we'll stick with that for now. Uh, we've got four units of equites that we're going to have to make very good use of. And then we've just got our archers. We're going to stick them on loose formation. And I think we're just going to hope for the best. The enemy have brought up more men. So we can see their onages in the back. Um, this is their main force, which comes with two rebel generals. I want to see if we can catch out this onager. Okay, so let's have a look exactly what they've got on each flank. Um, there are the onagers. Doesn't look like they're preparing to fire just yet. They're kind of staying pretty still, but it's on them to come to us, and they will. Uh, we're going to keep going up the hill. Try and use it to our advantage instead. As, um, they do have the backup coming in, and in fact, thinking about it, we know that their backup forces are, are pretty limited, consisting of just skirmishers and militia cab. Militia cab could be kind of awkward to chase down, but I think we can probably catch out the skirmishers. So let's go for that while we can, as um, onagers. Uh, I think they're going to fire at our cavalry, which is not going to work out too well for them. I will go for them with this particular unit. Um, just check that they're disciplined enough to actually attack what we told them to attack and to not turn around and fight anything else, although this Peltas are looking pretty tasty. The uh, rest of the units are going to absolutely slam into these Peltas, as uh, these guys should probably focus on the Militia Cav, as yeah, we pretty much annihilated those, so that's great. Send everyone else onto the Militia Cav. You guys are fighting. Uh, what exactly are you fighting? Peltas have joined in, that's fine, not worried about them. Um, unfortunately, we won't get a charge bonus against the Peltas, but uh, we have scared off the Onagers, and we can just swing around, hit them in the back. Need to be very careful of this general's armored bodyguard. Okay, I think we need to bring everyone back. So uh, they're coming towards us with one unit of Folksmen. General's Army Bodyguard is going to be an issue. There should be a second one. We definitely had... I think they had two guys, unless I'm mistaken them with someone else. Uh, if we can catch that guy out with all four of our Ecoteers at once, that might work. Um, but it looks like he is going to head towards our infantry. Not ideal. Uh, we are uphill compared to these. So we might be able to catch out this unit of Folksmen uh, over there. More Folksmen. Quite a few Phalanx Pikemen. They're moving on us pretty slowly. Uh, I think they are going to engage us pretty soon, but hopefully we can at least do some damage to them before we have to start concentrating on that. And uh, we are pretty much behind them. Really? <sighs> That's not good. I mean, it was worth doing, but of all the guys to die, had to be the general, didn't it? Okay, so... 
Maybe we can catch out his general in the back with all of our units at once. I think it's worth a go. Four units of equity should surely be able to defeat one unit of armored general. I'm, I'm not like super confident about that. Maybe we'll get a slight hill bonus too. As they're moving pretty close on us now. Our archers are, in, are firing on them despite being pretty uh, low range archers. Might have to spread these out a bit. Because right now they're maybe a bit too bunched up. Let's go ahead and do this as uh, we are moving in on the general. I don't know if we're going to charge him or not. I don't know if I set them to charge, so uh, maybe I didn't. Um, my cameras are screwing up here because of this one dude. Okay, I don't normally pause in the middle of battles, but like, what is... I, c I can't move my camera because this one dude is apparently like locked to the camera. So <laughs> let's actually work out what's going on. Okay, here we go. Unpause, and we're gonna, we're gonna just charge in, hopefully route this guy, but um, it's not looking like we're gonna get a proper charge on here. Uh, we are gonna surround him though. He thinks defeat seems certain, so that's a good sign. Uh, we have to be pretty careful of these Folksmen coming in. If we can just take him out before the Folksmen arrive, that'd be perfect. But unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna happen. So we might have to pull out... Yeah, I think we're gonna have to pull out. This could result in a route, I wouldn't be surprised. Yep mass route. All four units. That sucks. Not really sure what else we could have done there. Wouldn't have beaten the Folksmen. As long as they don't all charge into the opponents, it might not be so bad. You guys should all be firing at will. I forgot to do that. Let's try and nail them. As uh, these guys are just routing in the worst possible direction. I'm hoping some of these Equitators are going to regain their courage because that's uh, really not a good situation. Um, guys should be able to just hit them from the side, I think. If they're going to just file in one by one, that's not going to be a massive issue. Uh, they are charging in with their general. As Equites have regained their courage, might be time to hit one of them in the back. Astane mercenaries, I think those are pretty strong. Uh, we're going to have to actually gather these guys up together before we attempt to use them as good. We have routed one unit of Bungs Pikemen. Uh, let's bring these guys back. Yeah, they are proper phalanx pikemen, so not like militia pikemen or anything like that. Proper scary units. Uh, we've got these guys all together. I think we're just going to have to charge them all into the Bastane. I think that's how the... I don't know how that's pronounced, actually. Bastane or something. Uh, you guys are going to come around the side. Charge. So these guys are engaging. Let's try and catch them out. Get them from all sides if we can, as uh, unfortunately they have routed us there. Uh, this could be pretty bad on this side. We're going to send these guys, our reserves, as back up as uh, we have at least beaten them with our cavalry over here. I think we're going to have to bring in our cavalry to try and turn things around with the infantry because right now a uh, mass route is threatening to happen most definitely. Uh, so let's try and hit them in the back with these and turn things around before it's too late. So I would not be surprised by just a full mass route here. We could at least catch out that general's bodyguard, we might be okay, but unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get given the chance. And he's just going to come and run us down. Okay, there is a, an isolated unit of Folksmen over there. Um, these guys are still holding the line, but everyone else is routing. I think we're going to have to at least attempt to catch out that general, as unfortunately, I think this attack has failed. Not really sure what else we could have done. Um, that general dying was really unfortunate. That definitely didn't help. As um, yeah, we're routing before we're even engaging, so this is pretty hopeless. Not a lot to be said about that one. Uh, you guys are probably going to lose this. I'm sure you've got no morale at all. Yeah, wavering. Why even bother? Frankly, um, that's not going to work out. Just withdraw from the fight. These two are going to charge this unit in the back, but no, they're not even willing to do that. Even though it's massively in their favor, they're just completely lacking in morale, and... I feel like that was pretty harsh. At least we got more kills than they did, but... That's not good. So we haven't managed to take Byzantium. But we might manage to use what we have left to possibly back up an attack on Thessalonica if we reboard the ships. I did really want to take Byzantium. 
Because uh, it looks like we have just boarded the ships. A uh, suitable husband, he's 16 years old and he's uh, he's sharp, he's been in the wars so he's harder to kill. Uh, that's really bad though. Minus 2 morale for all units on the battlefield, that's not good. Uh, plus 2 command when defending, he could be a good governor, plus he's 16 years old so yeah we'll definitely go for that. Uh, blockade Tylus for games to be thrown in our honour, I've once again forgotten what that does. Uh, war declared, that's Brutia and Dacia. Okay where is this guy? He's in Capua, that's fine. Uh, it's pretty useful to have a young general in Capua for when we go to war. Um, we are, I think, still working on the Imperial Palace. It's going to be another three turns. Uh, right, how much time do I have? Still have a few minutes at least. Could go for more auxilia. I'm not completely against doing that. Let's go ahead and do it, I think. So, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed with how that fight went. I, I did kind of see it coming in some ways with the, with the mass route. Uh, it's not too surprising, unfortunately. Uh, these guys are not looking too terrible. I need to remind myself how many units, or how many soldiers are in a unit of cavalry normally. So, normally 108, which means if we were to fuse these two together, uh, the two chevron experience units would be demoted to one chevron, so we don't want to do that. Um, these guys... Eight soldiers. Not really gonna work out for us. Okay, I think we might actually have to come back and attack Thessalonica as Larissa is rioting. Okay, let's just repair. And unfortunately, I think, yeah, they're gonna be killing some of our, our units that we can't actually retrain. So that is just a straight up reduction in numbers. Okay, but we can. Get some more Roman Cav. And perhaps we should rethink. Let's rethink training for Equites and instead we'll get our three men back for the early legionary cohort. Uh, over here, uh, we can of course just send a few units over, so let's do that. So uh, Athens is now unhappy, not too surprising. They're on a low tax rate already, let's just recruit some more Archer Auxilia. That should pretty much deal with that, I think. Uh, Corinth is fairly happy, we can also just move some units across to Athens. Uh, can they actually reach Larissa this turn? Doesn't look like it. Uh, but we do have a few legionary cohorts, those are going to be... Something very much worth noting, legionary cohort, um, they do have the good morale as one of their main abilities, whereas if you take a look at the Principes and the Astarte, they don't which would explain why they were so crap when they were actually confronted with more than about 12 men in the last fight. So hopefully now that we have the Marian reforms we don't have to worry about that stuff quite as much. Uh, this guy was supposed to be like a, a pseudo spy but uh, clearly has not really worked out as um, I'll be annoyed if the Bruti I managed to take Bilazora just with this small force. Uh, to the north there's a Thracian large city that's probably where this guy came from. Uh, I feel like it's Theoretically possible that we could win the fight against this guy if we just got off the ships and tried to take him on, but that is definitely the the riskier approach. So what is this? That is easily easily beatable. Ah, I was hoping we'd have reinforcements there. Okay, so lost a few units. Uh, they have retreated over to here. 47 left. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna use this force to potentially attack the Salonica. Let's take our stronger force. Ah, uh, we can't actually hit them. Presumably we can with this. And we have got our reinforcements, so still take some losses, but we've driven this guy all the way back. As uh, there's another navy here, unless that's the one we just attacked. Yeah, this one we've not actually attacked yet. Okay. On the upside, this navy should be pretty strong. Um, hopefully, it won't get attacked on its way to. Oh, they pulled off. Oh, have they rebelled? I think they might have just lost that army to rebellion. Not really sure how that happens. Um, they're still in the game. Okay, well, I don't know if that's actually changed my plans because now that they've attacked me, um, I, I'm a bit less. Ah, that's a bit annoying too. Now that they've attacked me, I'm a bit less keen on uh, on leaving them alive. I wonder if we can just... surely we can beat this. Yeah. They've got 12 men. Surprised they even parked there. 
Okay, but they're dead. And we are now safe to sail to the south with these. My main concern, and I have mentioned this a few times in previous parts, my main concern is that if we take the Numidian capital, we are now going to border Egypt, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, could result in going to war with them. Worst case scenario is we find ourselves at war with both Roman factions and Egypt at the same time, which is like the three most difficult opponents we're going to fight in the whole campaign. So hopefully that won't all take place at once. Uh, we're back to being the most advanced faction. I'm just going to keep ignoring that as I have in the past. Uh, Pet Monkey. This is uh, our new assassin who comes out straight out of the box with five stars, or whatever those are called, five, five eyeballs. And he should be able to things done, I think. So they will definitely have some family members in their capital. Let's just start having a go at taking them out. It's unlikely to work out, but worth a go, and Sparta can't really do anything else as a... I don't remember clicking assassin there. Apparently recruiting another assassin. Okay, that's fine. I'm actually reasonably up for that. Uh, we'll get a legionary cohort here, and I uh, could just upgrade some weapons. I think we will do that for the Triarii because I really like those. Um, mercenary Peltas perhaps. This Roman armor general is quite expensive to upgrade. Let's first have a look at our construction report because as suspected we are now done with a lot of different buildings. Which means we're not going to have enough money to go around. So Masana, uh, I don't think that's a desperate enough situation to prioritize. We should probably look at our, our more frontier types of towns. So roads is pretty much a frontier town. Um, can't actually build anything too useful there, so we'll skip that. Athens is busy. This guy's busy too. That's a repair, so... I think that's a repair. Pretty sure that's a repair. Uh, Larissa actually has just a, a weak shrine to Zeus. So I will destroy that now, just so I don't have to try and remember later on that we need to build a shrine to Saturn here. Because it will be a shrine to Saturn, just so that we don't have to deal with too many public order problems later on in the game. Uh, lots of recruitment done. Still got 9,000 in the bank. Cadenia has got its market, so we can recruit a spy here now. And uh, we can also build another building, but I think we'll skip maybe communal farming, but I think it's... It's growing relatively well on its own, so I think we'll skip that. Uh, Demidi. Can't really do anything for Demidi. Senate mission success. Right? Okay, I'm not really sure what happened to our previous mission. Um, I don't really care enough to send a navy all the way up there to blockade that specific dock. Ready to sail. So we'll probably just skip that one. Uh, if this guy steps out of the town for a minute... Uh, still no mercenaries available to recruit, unfortunately. I don't think... We do have one guy here, in fact. There's a camera recruit here, but annoyingly, there are no actual uh, Cretan archers. So, we'll just take these for now, and I think we'll send them immediately towards the front line. As, uh, that's not really the ideal way to go, but shouldn't matter. Put this guy back in Corinth. Maybe he should go to Athens. Is he, is he a decent manager? Not really. Okay. Don't think it'll make a difference. Uh, Sparta should be fine. Okay, so we've still got 7,000 left to spend. Maybe with there's just not really anything that great to be building. Uh, Certa, we can actually build quite a lot. Dockyard is tempting. I think initially we should just go for the large temple of Saturn. So that's very good for public order, plus lowers corruption, which in theory should increase our income. Uh, pretty huge Spanish force here, faction leader and everything else. Um, this guy is going to join up with Alice Scipio. Got to move him last turn actually, should have done that. Okay, but we should be able to hit this guy, do I have time? I think I probably don't. So, unfortunately, although it kind of sucks to... well, actually... You know what, I think we do have time. It's not going to take too long. 
We just move there without actually engaging them, and then hit them from the other side too. Somehow he gets around us. Okay, can these join together? Looks like they can, into a full doom stack in fact. So now, I didn't need to do this. Should I just withdraw? No, I think we should deal with him because he's actually going to lower our trade income for the rest of the campaign if we don't kill him. So let's kill him off. And we will have to end it after this battle, definitely. So there's not really been any progress, unfortunately, but I think things are slowly piecing together. And we should be able to attack more towns pretty soon. And we should get Byzantium eventually. We might just have to come from, from the west instead of the east, as uh, annoyingly they've been given a massive hill. Okay, I think we're just going to have to go up the hill. Uh, we know that they mostly just have infantry units. Okay, so uh, we know they have the Rebel General. I think what we're just going to do is we're going to send these guys around the back, similar to the last fight, except this time hopefully we won't lose. Uh, you guys are just going to form up. Put yourselves and fire at will stance. You guys are going to join in too. Same thing, pretty much these are same kind of mechanics as Roman legionaries. Uh, cavalry on the move. This guy is potentially moving off the hill, which would be fantastic, but I think he's just readjusting himself. Uh, cavalry are coming around the side. Warband we're not going to use. You guys just come around the back. So yeah, there's just lots of Iberian infantry. I think those are relatively weak. Uh, these guys are all done. This is our faction leader, so... Got to be a little bit careful about charging him in. These guys are, I think, maybe going to get attacked. Uh, we can probably hit the general in the back now. Okay, looks like he's going to come towards our cavalry. Let's just charge him with everything we have. This should be a proper surround, like, this should definitely break him. Not like a full surround, but. Uh, a good enough surround to hopefully drive him off before these things arrive as uh, he's charging us now. The Iberian Infantry. General protect himself. He's, he's the guy on horseback. Uh, well, lifting his lifting his horse right there. As, yeah, you can see him am among the crowd. Uh, we have managed to route them pretty quickly. These guys will route as soon as we hit them. In the back. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave. Alright, let's, uh, let's hit them from both sides with these. Should route them. So, the losses are unfortunate, um, because we're not going to be able to get any of these back, but everything should pay for itself now. Like. Uh, our trade is going to be opened up from that. Um, there is just this one dude running off, which we might just have to wait for, as I think he is about to cross the boundary. Uh, so we should open up a bit of trade from that, I think. Okay, good to get at least one win in, and um, we are now ready to potentially go to war with Gaul. Uh, I think maybe from this position we could even just ignore Gaul and swing around and take on that massive Spanish force. Not completely sure about that one. But I think we have done enough for this part, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.